That faith in witchcraft is not easily abandoned is indicated by the fact that in England it continued to exercise an influence over a vast number of people for 1,200 years after the introduction of Christianity. And even today, even in America, one still finds evidence of its practices. And perhaps it will never die out until certain things stop happening, things which only witchcraft can explain. In the medical records of the State Health Department of Ohio, where the case of the Posick brothers has been set down, there is no mention, of course, of witchcraft. Doubtless such an explanation of the affair did not even occur to Dr. Perry, the physician in the case. On the morning of January 24th, 1932, he entered his office, a bewildered and defeated man. We've lost the Patsy boy, Miss Woodford. He died this morning. I gave him every test I ever heard of. I even took x-rays from head to foot. There was nothing wrong. The boy was in perfect health, and yet he died. At least they still have their two other sons. But the thought of Stanley Posick's death continued to haunt him. And two days later, he made a trip out to the Posick farm to explain to the boy's parents why he had failed. Doctor, you have come. How did you know? How did I know what? My second son, Raymond, he woke up this morning sick, almost the way Stanley acted before he died. On January 31st, exactly one week after the passing of his brother Stanley, the boy Raymond, age nine was dead. You will not let it happen to our youngest, to our baby, Doctor. I think I can promise you that your youngest is safe, Patsy. It can only be a poison of some sort in the bloodstream. Bacteria too minute to be observed with my instruments. So I've sent a sample of Raymond's blood to the state health department. Within a day or so, we should... It was just two days later, February 2nd, that the report from the health department arrived at Dr. Perry's office. But as he read it aloud to his secretary... Hope and confidence went out of his voice. Every known method of analysis has been used. There is present no trace of poisonous substance of any kind. And you were so sure. What could it be then, Doctor? I don't suppose I'll ever know. And the third boy? What about him? Who can say? I examined him last night. He seemed quite all right. After all, there's no reason to think anything will happen to him. Especially since it isn't a bacterial disease. You're probably right, Miss Woodford. The best thing for me to do is... Oh, will you get that, Miss Woodford? Dr. Perry's office. Is the doctor here? Yes, one moment, please. Uh, Never mind. I don't want to talk to him. This is Pasek. Just tell him that... Tell him that... That my youngest son died during his sleep last night. And so the Posigs were childless. And neither they, nor the doctor, nor anyone else has ever learned what it was that killed their three sons. If anyone were to suggest that death came as a result of a hex, a curse, or maybe a magic spell, we would laugh at the idea. And yet, unless we rely on some such explanation, what is the answer to this tragic, and bewildering mystery. A mystery incredible but true.